going great. <clears throat> Every day getting better, you know, pushing the guys, you know, just trying to be together as a unit and prepare for Utah. Do you feel like this is a special time for you given what happened in the spring? It is a, it's a special time. I mean, you know, the past is the past. At the end of the day, I feel like we're more close as a unit, as a team, and we're working to get better each and every day. What did you learn from that experience in the spring? Well, I just learned that, you know, at the end of the day, adversity makes you strong, and regardless, get back up and keep pushing. I think was there ever a time where you thought you wouldn't be back here this season? Uh, not at all. I mean, you know, regardless of what, you know, whatever was being said, you know, I kept my mind focused, and, you know, I just worked hard to get back. What, what was said to you about what you needed to do to kind of get your get back here for training camp? You know, just stay focused. That's about it. Okay, Coach mentioned some of the newcomers had their black stripes taken off today. Um, what have what have you seen from those guys that have made them earn that honor? Maturity. Uh, a lot of them stepped up. A lot of them are going to help us win and consistency. A lot of the players mentioned you had some big plays in the scrimmage Saturday. Take us take us through those. Uh, it's just, you know, coaches called the X and O's. Corey made a great throw. I just fortunate enough to make a good, great catch. What was the toughest part about being away from your teammates throughout spring and in the Bay? Just not playing the game I love. That's about it, you know. If you love the game of football, that would be hard on any athlete. So just not playing football was the hard part. Who did you lean on during that time? Was it your teammates, your family, a combination, coaches, who was it? It was a combination. You know, most importantly, as myself, self-discipline myself, doing everything I need to do. So, you know, it wouldn't, you know, hurt me. So in general, just stay focused. Do you understand what Coach Jones means when he says football is a lifestyle? Yes, it's a lifestyle. I mean, you got to live it, love it, like it. He preach on it each and every day. And, you know, some do, some don't. You know, regardless of it, you have to self-discipline yourself and, you know, the best take care of their body. Regardless of the aches, the pains, you know, you have to do stuff to prevent it. So it's a lifestyle. Do you live it, love it, and like it? I live it, love it, and like it. Yes, yeah. I do. Do you need to be more consistent, too? Is that something else you're trying to achieve? Yes, sir. I mean, it's, it's time in general, uh, you know, I may have a little, you know, funkiness here and there, but I think overall I have got better since last year, you know, learning concepts, playing W, playing X, you know, being a leader. So overall, I think I improved. I think when did you think you earned or kind of earned your trust and respect your teammates back given all that you've been through? Was there a moment this summer where you really felt like you were completely back with your guys? Just uh, sacrificing, not going home for the summer, staying many times, you know, paying the hard work in. And, you know, just busting my tail, you know, off-season workouts. Did you realize at the many turn points that, that you had work to do in that area to kind of earn your way back with your teammates, not just to be back on the team, but to be a, a part of the family, so to speak? Yes, I did. And also, that was the time to get me mentally and physically prepared for this off-season, you know, to kiss back up for what I had missed for the, um, that spring. What was the difference in what you were doing this summer versus what maybe you'd done previous off-seasons? Uh, this summer, you know, as as a unit, uh, we just just, but just for you personally, in terms of what you were doing and stuff to get ready. And I mean, I can just say, you know, doing plenty of extra work in, watching more film, uh, you know, uh, perfecting my craft, you know, studying defenses, you know, learning the mental aspect of the game more than the physical. How much can that help your game? Do you think you're, there's another level to your game? If your focus is where you want it to be and where everyone wants it to be, do you think there's a new level your game can get to? Yeah, it's another level. I mean. At the end of the day, playing a game of football, we all know with the mental aspects of learning concepts or dealing with things outside of football, if your mind top of your feet, that will slow you down. So I think being focused and tuned in and being keyed on what you have to do, it will take your game to a high level. Is it hard to learn all the positions at wide receiver, or does that come easily for you? Uh, how can I say this? You know, being that we had to learn a new offense in the beginning, it was kind of tough. But, you know, over time, repetition and Coach Z, you know, he kind of makes sure we learn all around the position. So he don't just try to teach us one, he try to teach us all of them. So, I think, you know, as time got by, it got easier. Was anything specific said to you about what you needed to do to get work your way back and to be back here for training camp? Or? Uh, not, not much, just, you know, staying focused, doing what I need to do academically and just, you know, staying on top of all my own problems. So just, you know, staying focused is the main part and just taking care of everything. Just take how much two more guys. How much different is the receiving core now than it was last fall? Uh, we got more depth, we're explosive, we got more playmakers. You know, we can move guys around. And I think overall, we just we bring more to the table. How much better is your relationship with the coaching staff now than it was, say, last January? I don't think I don't think we never had no bad or good connection. I think all around it be consistent. Um, you know, regardless of what happened last spring, you know, the coaches have always stayed, you know, in touch with me. We we communicated, you know, regardless. So I think our connection be consistent. Okay, guys, thank, thank you. you.